This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare on you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is, how that Jesus Christ died by our sins, according to scripture, he was buried, he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Amen. <clears throat> Thank God. Amen. Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, Bring deliverance to the captives, giving of sight to the blind, set at liberty, them that are bruised. The word is nigh thee, even in your heart and your mouth. There's a word of faith which I preach. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. With the heart man believeth, and the righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's the power of God and the salvation for everyone who believes it. The Jew verse and also to the Greek. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed. The faith of faith as it is written. The just shall live by his faith. Amen. Well, I welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream. Broku Apple TV, YouTube, or other devices, and shortwave radio. Kathy Davidson, calls on my left, and how are you? Doing well. Good. And Brian Baller, calls on my right, and how are you? Doing well. Everybody's well. Yes. We're ready to go. Before we get in to any business. I want to talk about the My Girls. Kathy Byers is my daughter. And Katie, would you turn to Psalm 112? Sure will. Read just a little about Kathy Byers. So, Kathy Byers will get it. Right. Psalm 112, verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. That's enough. My seed will be mighty on the earth. Amen. That's what it said. That's what it says. That's Kathy... Jane Davidson, born October 1953, when her dad, that would be me, was on the USS Cape Esperance TCBE 88, South Pacific. She was born. Oak Knoll Naval Hospital. You know, they told her the hospital she was born in down, and they told her 121 veterinary hospital down. <laughs> no evidence. Huh? No evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So, Jane, uh, too bad. <laughs> There's just a hill where you were born. And asphalt where I was born. Right, but the my girls are going to do a song that Mark Green showed us many years back. 
those of you that don't know who Mark Rain is, his father was Bill Green, who was in the class of 61, School of Veterinary Medicine, Missouri, and killed in a car wreck. It's on my website. So let's get this song out with the My Girls. I think it's cool that they are front and center on my broadcast when God says, put them there. All right, Kathy. My. back, what, 16 
You were reading, tell me Psalm 112? 142, right. 142, not 12. Right. And you read a verse. Amen. You want to read the whole thing? Sure. When you get to that verse, I'm going to stop you. All right, Psalm 142. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. Whoa. What a revelation. I thought God, I didn't even know where God was. And I didn't, wasn't sure he knew. Well, I didn't think he knew where I was at. Amen. Let's be straight about it. You read that, and I said, man, if you knew my past, you had to be with me. Amen. Amen. I remember, you and I were talking about this this afternoon. I remember the relief on your face when I read this to you. You went, wait a minute, wait a minute, read that again. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, let's go ahead and finish that's Psalm 142. And now we are going to shock them. All right. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they privily laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand, and behold, there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Turn unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. The righteous compass me about. Then I must be righteous. Well, I thought that. But now I know that. And you're righteous. Amen. Brian's righteous. Amen. Jerry Brown's righteous. Amen. David Casper. Anthony Reese. Aaron Turner. My goodness. Paul Peters. Not Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Paul. <laughs> and, and how did we get righteous? Uh, God chose us. Amen. Put us where we're at. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. And ministered the gift of righteousness to us. Hallelujah. Amen. What a blessing. Thank God. That this place is. Amen. Amen. So, I'm pretty comfortable to speak what I'm saying about this place. Amen. Which God that said it, May 22nd, 7th day, he said, I chose you, I chose you, and sent you to the four corners of the earth to Deliver my word without fear or despair. Amen. He said that to me. Yeah. Guess what? He sent me the four corners of the earth. Those of you that go with me, he sent you. Amen. Amen. Look, folks, we're not boasting. We're just telling you what God has done at water of life. Amen. And what a blessing. Amen. Now, um, well, I want to talk. You know, I had DNA done, what, a couple years ago? Correct. Something like that. And I have an ancestral tree, Miller's, 
Davidson's, Davidson's of Sir Coxie's just about finished up. But the Millers. Well, down in Founders, my ancestors, I said the last Sunday of June in the wake that God sent my ancestors to America so I could preach the gospel. That blew me away. But it kept getting better and better. But you know, Samuel Gorton, one of my great grandfathers, ninth or tenth, Stukely Westcott. Is the third one John Green? I think so. The fourth one, Ezekiel Holloman. Amen. All right. Those four, all four of them, lead to Thomas Westcott. And Thomas Westcott is a straight line from him to Frank Miller, my grandfather, a straight one. Well, we got a letter from the DNA people. One of the DNA, right. Yeah. And they said that I was a what? You were the, I think it was the sixth, uh, was it six generation cousins first removed of that Westcott? Of who? Of a Westcott. Thomas of Westcott. Mama, Thomas Westcott, Thomas right. Thomas Westcott. So that line has been proven by DNA. Amen. That kind of excited me. Amen. DNA is what you can get in a step with Jesus. Anyway, many of you have heard about Redwood Church. But I was born and raised in it. Born in 1932. Then my grandfather built Redwood Church. We have a picture of it. Southwestern Sargoxy, Missouri. We've been doing a lot of research discovering a lot of things. A few weeks back, we discovered a list of people that started Redwood Church in 1912. Amen. Right? Right. They started meeting together. Right. Thirteen of them. The first one happened to be Luther Davidson. The second one happened to be Claude and Neva Dodson. Luther Davidson, my grandfather, he built the place. The second one, Claude and Neva Dodson. And Neva was granddad's oldest child, daughter. And she married Claude Dodson. Third one was Jack Crane. Jack Crane was a preacher. Lived right over in Kansas. The fourth one was a Berkey. A Berkey. The fifth one was Staley, Armstrong, Willoughby, I knew everyone except Lowe's. And the Berkey, I'm not sure what Berkey, but uh, Rose Berkey, Joe Berkey's daughter, and my aunt Neva, I believe were both single when they started. I'm not totally sure when they started getting together. But they were involved in the beginning. Well, all of you that know me, 
keep up with me know that I mentioned in the sixth grade I met a girl named Pansy Burger. She finished sixth, seventh, eighth with me. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, high school. I didn't see her after that until oh fifty six. But God has me praying for her. Praying for her. Now, the devil hates it. Okay, Katie said something. She said, prophetess. You remember what she said to me about Pansy? Yeah, I said that, um, that perhaps that God is paying back a promise that he had made to the original Berkeys. That's what he said. Now we, and, and if I'll go on with that testimony, I was telling Brian about it the, uh, this evening. Back in, I believe it was 2012, I think, was the tornado in Joplin. It was 2012 or 2011. Was it 11? Was it 11? Okay. Well, and started in 10, didn't it? Okay, that might be. Was it 10? 11. Was it 11? Okay. Anyway, um, when that happened, God directed you. He wanted you to build a house for someone that had lost their home in that Missouri um, tornado. But you didn't know who. You didn't know anybody personally that had lost a home. And you, checked, right. you checked with the ones that you knew up there, and they were all okay. That's right. But your nephew said that he knew a man, a friend of his, a friend slash enemy. It was funny when we heard about the, the their friendship, but a friend that that had lost their house in that tornado, and you said, "All right." And the first thing you did was you sent him some money. I remember you sent him five hundred dollars because they had no place to go. They lost everything, right. and then God had you build the house. And so Dole had stayed in contact with your nephew. And you started to get ready to build a house for this gentleman that had totally lost his home. Well, it wasn't until after we started building it, you went up and met the gentleman. And, and your nephew brought him over for you to meet him. And you two started talking. And after you talked for a little while, you realized you knew the man's father pretty well. And who, well. yeah. And not only that, but your father, your father really knew the man's father. Sure did. He owned, it was Jesse, what was this, Jesse Long. Jesse Long. And he owned a tire shop, right? Owned what? A garage or a tire he shop. A truck stop. There it was, a truck stop. A truck, truck stop. And now it sits on the Oklahoma-Missouri line in Missouri right. on I-44. Right. And your dad used to go to that truck stop. All, all the time. He right. did business with him. Right. And we realized God knew that his son needed a house. And well, God knew that your father and he were good friends. You didn't know who the man was, but God knew. And the verse that came up in my heart tonight was Matthew 10, verse 41. And we saw it come to pass with that house. It says, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. This is Jesus speaking. It's a promise. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Amen. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, Jesus speaking, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Amen. And your father's friend's son lost a home and your father's son Build it for him. Now, yeah. well, let me tell you. Everybody that helped start Redwood Church right. knew Luke Davidson. That's right. Every one of them. But and and like I said, you can see with this verse why God may be after Pansy Berkey. 
because he has a promise. He has to fulfill. He has to reward somebody. And what a better reward than to have your family born again. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, that's what I'm convinced now that that's what this is all about. Amen. I knew all the Burgers. Knew them well. Grew up with them. Grew up with Pansy. Amen. And her brother. Amen. But you know what's interesting? Her brother, Betty Burger. Yeah. Married a Dodson. Amen. Dorothy Dodson. You know who she's related to? Uncle Claude. Well, I laugh. Everybody in Sarcastic or in Sarcoxy is married to Sarcoxy. It's related to Sarcoxy. Did you know Uncle Claude lived to be 100 years old? Amen. 100 years of age. Amen. All right. So if you're all stirred up and bugged, get over yourself. <laughs> You know as much about this whole thing as I do. You know, God made a promise to Abraham yeah. to keep his children, yes. to give them yeah. the land. Yeah. And God went through with his promise. God made a promise to King David. He said, there'll always be somebody that'll sit on your throne. And there was, and there is now. His name is Jesus. Yeah. There was always somebody. And when God makes a promise, he always fulfills it. Amen. Oh. Yes. Sure does. What time is it? It is. We have 32 minutes left. 32? I think we've said enough, do you? All right. So, all of you, just consider, Amen. I obey God. Amen. I don't play games. I obey God. And... I'm not one bit bothered about Pansy. I called her twice in my life. Not one too long back. The second time, first time she said, I said, Nora Davidson, well, I can't talk right now. Thank you. The second time, wow. She came. Nora Davidson, what are you doing calling me all the time? I thought, twice in 85 years? <laughs> she said, I don't want to hear what you've got to say. She already knows. Mm -hmm. Amen. Anyway, it's cool. Thank God. So I said, well, no problem. You watch. Well, God told me, mm -hmm. I'll bring her to you. I remember God sat in your car, or he had an angel sit in your car for weeks until you spit up the bits, is like you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for you people that you, you heard that. Horses, right, racing. They don't want to run anymore. That's called spitting up the bit. <laughs> so I've said about the church, a bunch of you have spit up the bit. <laughs> Amen. Well, I haven't. So what are we going to do? Up to you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Bless God. Amen. I get thanks, Jesus. Thank you. I get thanks. All right. I want to hear her. She go holiday. Amen. The wings of a dove. Hallelujah. Then we'll go to water of my praise and worship. When trouble surrounds us, when evil comes, the 
body grows weak the spirit grows numb when these things beset us he doesn't forget us he sends On the wings of a snow white dove, he sends his pure, sweet love, a sign from above, on the wings of a dove, when Noah had drifted, on the flood many days, he searched for land. Recorded songs, worship and praise. Amen. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants met there, how we do hinder. Our God has given us a victory. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea.
baby, they all read a history. Our God is new, they miss a big part of me. We are able to go up and play the country, to possess the land from down to the sea. For the giants, baby, they all read a history. Our God is new, they miss a big part of me. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. Oh, I will sing, I will dance into the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. But I will sing, I will dance into the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy into his heart. I will sing, I will dance into the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. Well, I will sing, I will dance into the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God.
Concentrate on him and worship 
said that to me, oh six. He said, I'll come with a vengeance and a recompense and save you. And after that, the blind will see. The lame will walk. The dumb must be. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. 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 That forever. That's following. My 
my eyes from trying to come open. Hallelujah. I've got a lot of scales or gravel or something around them or sharp. A bad of a lot of moisture, tears. And I'm moving forward to be healed completely. Amen. Teeth in my mouth. God told me 29 years ago not to go back to a dentist. No, I didn't. Thank God. Amen. Amen. But I didn't tell him I was going to do without these things in the millennium. I want my team. I guess we could get up a bunch of cheerleaders and team, 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 team. <laughs> Amen. Some days I have more fun than you think I do. Anyway, right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus, be born again, be saved. All you have to do is speak after me, Jesus, be born again. Speak after me, Jesus, Jesus. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Eight zero eight two, or write Doyle Davidson Post Office Box eight six one three two seven Plano Texas seven five zero eight six. That's Doyle Davidson Post Office Box eight six one three two seven Plano Texas seven five zero eight six. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. <laughs>